that could be your first sketch on location. And to add color to that, uh, it might be better to use something a little thinner, like pencil. And if I did this in pencil, uh, you know, I might take more time drawing some of these leaves and some details of the foliage. But again, I try to continue line to get the overall gesture of the foreground and then the background figure walking there with the hat and there's some shadow so And their little dog. You have to have a fairly soft pencil. You can quickly put some of that um, tone in. And with a nice line, you could try to get even some of the buildings in the background. Just follow them along as little steps. And it can spend longer and really study the lines and, and draw them accurately. Or you can just quickly render like an expressive gesture of the scene. And uh, that could be the pencil sketch. And then if you add a little bit of color, you know, it can become a, a watercolor expression. I guess it's good to start with a light background. You can always come back to it. <laughs> so this foliage. And the nice thing about wash is you just, just add a little bit of detail here and you can, you know, push the color a bit and just add a little washes to get those gestures. And again, all expressive kind of ways to, well this is really dark water color, okay. <laughs> okay, how does that tree come out? Well, it's just this little branch. So while I have the dark, you see, I just carry it through here. Um, and even here, it's quite sh shadow, so you can add a bit more dark here. And I like that there's some wet on wet gestures. That's the texture I feel, you know, and there's some pink in here. Just get that little bit of color that I see in the foreground. So again, very expressive sketch. And uh, it could just be a memory of the, of the time in the shade here by Ambleside Beach. 
dog park. And there's a little bit of a background skyline there, I just noticing. So I'll just put that in. Right here, there's a Stanley Park in the background there. Put that in. But sometimes these things are not meant to be realistic. They're just meant to express the depth of color you feel. So a little more height here in this green. Right here, there's this green. And notice you can push your brush lots of different directions. So sing along with the with the trees and bushes. <laughs> so it's a bit wet to get any extra detail. But as it dries, you can add more to it. Use the brush the same way you use your pencil, too. There. So that could be a, a pencil sketch and wash. 